Hey everybody, you might know me as Dave, but um, who I am isn't important. What's important is that you're here, and uh, it's nice to uh, get to know you. Anyway, enough uh, formalities here. The point of this series is to help you learn C++, and I'm going to go over C++ as if you have never coded before. I know that might be a little bit boring to people who have coded before and are here to learn new tricks, and that'll be stuff for down the road, but um, right now we're just going back to the basics. Now, in order to start programming, you need a text editor. Um, you might also hear the term IDE. Uh, that means Integrated Developer Environment, or it might mean Integrated Development Environment. You know what? If I don't figure this out right now, I'm, it's going to be on my mind forever. So, integrated development environment. Well, same thing as I just said. It's just development instead of developer. Yeah, so these, um, this is software that includes a text editor and allows you to write code and compile it and run it. And uh, there's a lot of these things out there. But... A couple of my favorites personally include JGrasp, which is a wonderful lightweight editor that uh, was introduced to me by a college professor. Um, kind of funny, because he kept calling it, like, JGrasp, and uh, wait, that's not very funny, actually. All right, whatever. Uh, um, the one we're going to use is called Code Blocks, and if you don't have it already installed on your system, no fret. Do what I do and what you're probably already doing, and that is go to Google and type in code blocks. And you'll see this link right here, or if it's not up top, it'll be a few links down, I'm sure. I have no idea when you're watching this video, but it could be 2025. But you want to go to the download section. I click download straight off Google, but if you don't do that, you can just click this right here and uh, you can go to downloads either up top or to the side and you will see download the binary release there are a couple other links download the source code retrieve source code we're not worrying about that stuff we're just going to download the text editor now if you really want to have another text editor on your machine if it really means that much to you i certainly can show you some other websites too and uh in fact, let's do that. That's that's yeah, that's actually a really good concern. So, you're cool for asking. If we type in J grasp, not grass, J grasp, not like the wacky weed, but as if you're holding something, grasp. And um, yet again, you'll see a download link to the left side. And um, you can, depending on whether you have Windows, Mac, Linux, Unix, you can download it right here. Uh, this one's the beta, and so if you're funny about using betas, you can just use this version right here instead. That's the one I have, last I looked. And, uh, yeah, so you just need to download those uh, files and unzip them, and uh, I, I suppose I could tell you how to get through the windows uh, for those. It's called Keep Hitting OK. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, or next, and uh, you'll have yourself a text editor, and we will go over those text editors next time. So thanks for watching, and part two coming right up.